And welcome back to another session of Gaming with God. I'm your host, Grumpy Old Dude. This is Act 4, Diablo 2 Resurrected with our Necromancer. I got up this morning and I went out and I decided to go back and run Mephisto again. Get some experience points. I was going to level up before I continue with Act 4. I ran Mephisto. He died way easy. My experience points climbed. My bar went from about here to there. So I thought... And that was the entire uh, Halls of Durance, all three levels, plus Mephisto. So that's just not worth it. <laughs> and he didn't drop anything to be kept, so it was all just shit to sell for gold. So, we're going to continue on. We have to find Iswal. Look for Iswal in the Plains of Despair. So we come out of the Pandemonian Fortress here. To the outer steps. Now we have to get to the Plains of Despair before we're going to find Isabel. So this just show you some of the garbage that we'll be fighting against. Some of the crap miniature minor demons. There we go. That's what I'm playing. Miniature minor demons. Now these sons of bitches, they drain the mana. So if you're playing a sort or a spellcaster like a hero, they're, they're, they're kind of a risk. Because <laughs> they run you right the hell out of mana. Okay, see so right there, we lost the mage, or we lost the skeleton, rather, and we lost our blood gold. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to clear this level and then move on to the Pandemonium Steps, I think is the next level. And once we get there, I'll start the recording again uh, so we can find Iswal and complete the first quest. In the meantime, we will see you shortly. Take care of yourself. Okay, we are on the Plains of Despair. I just came down the steps here from wherever it was that we were. We're now in the right place. We find Isuel. And begin the quest that we were given by uh, F7, Amplified Damage. Here we go. Now he'll die. Vile Pox. Die, vile pox. Yeah, I can take another super healing potion. Okay. Now we gotta find Iswal. There we go, amp damage. And they die. Gorgeous swarm up, then they die. <laughs> Okay, now I got somehow I wound up with my right shoulder in the wall instead of my usual left. Oh, that works too. Oh, I see an awesome skeleton. Six, seven, eight. There we go. Another skeleton count back up. Big waste to these doomed knights. Little guys that spawn more little guys. Right like this, somewhere along the line, I'm just gonna bump right into his ball, buddy. He's gonna aggro based on something else I was fighting. die fast after I amp damage on them. Yeah, 
Amplified damage increases the physical damage they take by 100%. much easier to kill them. Ooh. A little bit complacent there, Grumpy. Can't afford to do that. No complacency allowed. That's how bad things happen, like you die, and you just damn near did. Okay, well, where are you? be somewhere in the middle. Ish. Finger getting numb. Okay. Yes, well. Come 
loud and play, yay. How many of you guys remember that movie, Warriors? Tend to energy, no. I'm not taking that. I'm not swapping that. There's his wall. Right there. Right, he's he's proven to be tougher to kill than Mephisto was. I mean, Mephisto just rolled over and played dead this morning when I hit him. I hope he'll do that in Nightmare Lover, too. Farming Mephisto Nightmare generally returns pretty well. Come on, die already. There you go. That's a good bad guy. Then drop squat. Kiryu uh, was a fool for what? trusted me. You see, it was I who told Diablo and his brothers about the Soul Stones and how to corrupt them. It was I who helped the Prime Evils mastermind their own exile to your world. The plan we set in motion so long ago cannot be stopped by any mortal agency. Hell itself is poised to spill forth into your world like a tidal wave of blood and nightmares. You and all of your kind are doomed. <laughs> Famous last words, bad guy. Iswan was weak. He squandered his infernal power. Okay, we're over. Too far from leveling again, that's always a good thing. Leveling in Diablo is a good thing, always. Many games have tried to copy Diablo. Hell, Blizzard's tried to copy Diablo. <laughs> Failed. Somewhere on... I think... There's a uh, waypoint. Maybe okay, what I'm going to do is the stairs down and right over here. We're going to do the town portal. Protect you, and the powers of heaven shine upon your path. But if what you tell me is true, then I fear that we have been played for fools all along. Iswal helped Diablo and his brothers trick me into using the soul stones against them. Now the stones' powers are corrupted. With the combined powers of the soul stones under their control, the prime evils will be able to turn the mortal world into a permanent outpost of hell. <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it, since I've played the game before. And I'm not playing hardcore and I get to die over and over again. I have plenty to say about it. Not happening. Okay, that's completed. Take Mephisto's Soul Stone to the Hell Forge. Now, here's what I want to see. Where he is? Oh, there's no uh, town portal or waypoint in that level. It's at the City of the Damned. That's where we have to go. 
is to the city of the damned. So once I get uh, to that proximity, I'll start the recording again. In the meantime, we will see you soon. Well, as luck would have it, City of Dan was the very next map. This is where I town portaled from, right about here. Came down the stairs. This is the City of the Dam. So this is where we're going to find the next waypoint. It is generous with the gold. It's lots of 150, 250, 300 gold drops. And here's why it's called City of the Dam. These creatures are the dam. Shocking birds. See, damn. That's what this is. This their city. They die fairly readily. I can't carry anymore. Although we do need to find a way to find Ooh. Here's a whole mass of stuff. <laughs> Corpse explosion just blows them right up. Of course, it runs me right out of mana, too. I suppose that was a healing well back here, not a mana well. Oh, it is a mana well. There you go. Fire, there's a little cold. There's more. They cooperate and just fall over dead. <laughs> Almost up the level. Where's my way into that chamber there where they are? Oh! Run away, run away! There it is. That is nice. And we got a bunch of them dead now. A portal and some more gold. I still don't see the waypoint. Where is 
the waypoint. On me, fellas! Quickly! I can't carry anymore. Got a socket too. Oh, same frost nova. That's no big deal. It's nice. It's not the plus three to life. That's three is no big deal. This is two. This is also plus two dex. It's got lightning and poison resistance. Defense is only 41. This is 103. And it has cold resistance instead of lightning and poison. Let's see, where are my resistances? Oh, my cold is really weak. Okay. Average chance they will hit me, 63%. Average chance they will hit me, 55%. So, 15% reduction almost. 63 to 55 is 8 points. 15% of 63 would be 9, almost 10. 13% reduction in their probability to hit me. Cold resistance goes way up. Poison comes down a fair bit. I'm going to do that, however, because I can socket it. This is not a set piece, but that's a decent piece of armor. Uh, let's see. I put that in armor as an attack rating, no. That's strength, no. That's replan, no, no, no. 24 to mana. Better man magic item, life, dexterity. Okay. Three ordinary. What does the ordinary 
we're going to do in our lightning resistance 30. Play three art runes gives you a tool rune. Yes. And then with three tool runes, you have to add a gem to it. evident that I'm just keeping too much shit. <laughs> so I've jammed this up. Okay, that's gonna get sold. That's gonna get sold. That's gonna get sold. That's getting sold. So is that. So is that. just a wee little bit. I am a notorious pack rat in these games. It's horrible. I'm one of these that gets all these potions and then doesn't use them because I save them just in case I really need them. Yeah. Damn it, where's the door into there? Bunch of shit has died there. All right, we're gonna drop like almost all our charms here. There's a whole bunch of room in our inventory. A whole, a whole bunch of shit back itself. I'll start the recording again when I get done. <laughs> this liable to be a little while. Okay, none of that stuff was worth keeping. Sold it all. Got about twenty thousand gold out of the deal. Fifteen or something. I don't know. 
I wasn't really paying that close attention. One thing I did notice, when I dropped all my charms, this turned red behind my armor, which means I couldn't, it, it didn't count. That's the charm in question. See how this turned red? I have a mandatory, a minimum strength to use that of 55. I have a 54 without my charm of strength. <laughs> With it, I have a 57 and I can use that armor. Just something to be aware of when you start trying to decide which things to keep when you're in town and disposing of things. And I still don't see the damn waypoint. And I don't see where I haven't been. I can't carry anymore. to the waypoint in town, there is a waypoint in the City of the Dam. Now, overall, I like what they've done with the graphics uh, for Diablo 2 Resurrected, but some of the things are not so obvious to see anymore. Uh, case in point, that altar I was looking for yesterday um, for the Gidbin. the waypoint, even if I don't recognize it when I run by it, they normally show up on the map when you get close to them. There it is, right there. Okay. Next waypoint is in the River of Flame. Where's my way downstairs from here? Don't see it along here. the hell over here in this corner maybe apparently This is where we're going to find the Hell Forge. It's down here somewhere. I'm going to suspend the recording now. And hopefully, when I come across the Hell Forge, I won't get so tied up on it so quickly that I can't uh, untie myself long enough to start the recording. <laughs> ah, be back soon, guys. Okay, I have not found the Hell Forge yet, but I am getting close. So I want to start the recording. 
case, I come across it and I am immediately swamped and tied up in battle and combat and can't come away from the screen because it'll end up making me be dead. I know it's down this way because I've exhausted the other route. So it's got to be down this tongue right here. And there it is. Pasto the armor, the health forge. There we go. Almost anticlimactic here. Two levels probably above where you're designed to be. I am level 27. Okay, now I do not have the Fistle Soul Stone with me. I have to go back and get it. Since that's the case, guess what we're going to do? That's right. You drop a whole bunch of stuff down there. All stuff back, sell it. Get me fist of soul stone. Good day. Just the soul stone, we need that. Now let's see what this other stuff is that we found. Hello. 7,000 gold, that's nice, we'll take it. 500, 700. Plus one to strength. There goes that. Pick our charms back up. Our key. Small charms. Large charms. Okay, now we're going to come up here onto the health forge. Just so, uh, yeah, put the soul stone on there. Then we're going to take the hammer. Shatter the soul stone. this empty thing here. Uh, I'm going to pause the recording. I'll pick it up when I get to the other end. See you in just a minute or two. Okay. And we're back over here now. Come all the way across here. Proceed, hero, into Terror's Lair. Know that Diablo's innermost sanctum is hidden by five seals. Only by opening each of these seals can you clear your way to the final battle. So, now we continue into Diablo's lair. There we go. Get him, guys. So I'm going to have to fight my way into the lair. When I get to where the seals are, I'll start the recording again. We've got to go through a number of these kinds of ordeals here. And, uh, 
I get to the seals, I'll show you what happens when you break the seal. I think we got to do five of those. We will see y'all soon. Come on, kill these last two little rats. There you go. Okay, I'm not there yet, but I came across a unique helm. See the brown coloring up there, so let's gonna see what this is. Quaif of Glory, 10 defense, 100 defense to missiles, 15 lightning resistance, attacker takes lightning damage of 7. Uh, 6, six to energy, 16, that's a 27. Hit blinds the target. That could be interesting. We're going to try that and see what happens. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to go back to the fortress here, put my regular helmet away. I'm not going to sell it because I may end up switching back to it. Da, 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 da. Oh, i got to sell some more crap. Uh, okay. Pause the recording while I do all this. I just I found that unique helm. I thought I'd show you that real quick. Okay, I got a rat on myself here. I died trying to get into the Chaos Sanctuary, which is uh, what houses the five seals where in Diablo is. So I went back to Act One because my army died. I went all the way back to the very beginning where I could just beat stuff up with my fist because I've got no armor on. My gear, everything is stripped and laying on the floor where my corpse lies. Um, I don't have my belt anymore with the four potions. They're all, all on the ground back there. So now what I've got to do, I went back to Act One, just killed a bunch of little lanks until I could create my little troop again, my squad. There's my corpse laying there. This guy, or these guys, are what killed me. Yeah, there are a bunch of them there. They didn't come out the door last time. They did not come out the door last time. They stood here in the door and blocked it. Sons of bitches. Now they come out the door. That's the way it works. Rebuild my belt here. Healing potions. Read you. And mana. That's alright. Okay, so now we're back into the Chaos Sanctuary. That's what happens when you die. See your corpse and all your money. Uh, 85,000 gold went away. Yeah. I had to go back and get enough gold to get my uh, mercenary back. Wham. <laughs> oh shit, get out of there. as they're wiping them out. Okay. 
There's still stuff down there, guys. Go kill it. So as you can see, it's not... They don't just roll over and die for you. I wish they would. <laughs> they don't always do that. Um, let me go back to town. I gotta get more healing potions. I'm not finding enough on the ground. I, I need to buy some more. Yeah, I've got healing potions. I need mana potions. What do you need? Okay, I only have 99 mana. This gives me back 80. One more. There we go. How many town scrolls do I have? Eleven. Let's get a couple more of those too, just so I don't. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's enough. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and let you see a little bit more of this. Get out of there! Damn! That's what gets me killed sometimes. I get back in someplace and I can't get out. Right your way through them. Oblivion Knight. We got cursed. Terry lags are bothersome. Those are bothersome. That's real bothersome. That's how you die. And not a damn thing you can do about it. This is where we will fight Diablo, is this area here. We are to almost to where the seals are. Get... Oh, I'm not liking this at all. Okay, guys, I am going to break this connection and start another game. Um, this is just going to get me dead. That's the only thing that's going to happen. Now it's going to act right all of a sudden. I'm about to open the seal, and when I do that, it's going to get real ugly real quick. Somebody posted the other day a question uh, in the, you know, uh, uh, saw the forum, and it's 
a good question. You're supposed to be able to have seven or eight players in a game. What happens if you have eight necromancers, summoner necromancers? Will everything handle the anime? There's a seal. Everything handle the animation workflow. There is room to doubt that. Okay, we're going to open a seal. And what usually happens is monsters come careening in out of everywhere. Here they come. It's not such an uh, That wasn't such a horrible number of monsters. Okay. Yep, we're gonna... You know what? We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna wait. No, because it will time out. The stuff will disappear after so long. It won't stay there for forever. I was gonna say we could just kill Diablo and then come back and pick it all up. But it'll take too long to get all that done. We come back and it'll all just have gone away by virtue of timing Good out. To see you. Since I lost 85,000 gold getting what into there. Need? That's a nice shield. Paladin only. Level 18. Poison length reduced by 75. Two sockets. Magic damage reduced, plus one to combat skills. That's a nice shield for a paladin. And I do have a paladin. Well, that's level 18 for a Boazon. No, oh, that's not anything outstanding. Um, super healings. Super healing have a little loop on the other side here. And they heal 320. I've only got 240. Okay, we're going to keep that shield after all. I do have a paladin character. Oh, great. This is the shield I wanted to start my meat, my uh, Negro with here that I did start it with. Okay, I'm going to sell that one. Um, we're going to sell that one. That's also a paladin only shield. That'll make room in there for that. Sell that, repair that, and head back to here. So there's five she um, seals. We've eliminated two of them, or opened two of them. I should say we didn't eliminate them. Two of them open. That's a super healing. We'll take that. Okay. So that's two two seals open out of five. There's one up this way, and then two down the other side, just like this. Run up there and throw a quick curse. Get out of there! Damn! They hit you with the froze stuff, you can't hardly move.
Well, I don't know. Those golems don't seem to be worth a whole lot. They die rather frequently. that seal. Oh. We didn't get mugged that time either. Here they are. <laughs> I just knew it. I knew they were coming. Hold still so we can kill you. Defense, cold resistance, magic damage reduced, attacker takes damage. Four percent damage to one three. That's a disappointing bow. Let's see what our mercenary is wearing here. 73 in fire resistance. 110 cold, a little bit of cold I'll resistance. Put that to good use. That. seals. and a golem. Okay. That's four seals. Get out of there. Guess what? Back to Act One. Damn it. See, I I never get past 
I don't usually have this much trouble getting to Diablo. But this bodes ill for when I reach Diablo. I've died here twice. That makes five damn times this character's died. Okay. We're back to the very beginning, Act 1. Getting our army together again. stuff to kill. I need mana. Yeah, drop some mana the potions, guys. About six thousand, seven thousand gold, probably. Uh, let's see here. Let's find out how much it's going to cost us. Hello again, out. Fifty-five hundred gold. Fifty-five hundred. Okay. Death is expensive. All right, we got everybody back. So now I go back to the River of Flame. And yes, this is embarrassing. Lest anybody think this was easy. All this stuff we've cleared out. God, my undead army just fell over and died almost instantly against that group. They were there one second and then gone. I need my stamina back. I, it would not do to get there and be out of breath and trying to walk. inadvertently hit that seal. We got them tied up. Yep, good. I need mana. 
I need mana. <laughs> yeah, you need something. Yeah, let's see where my belt's at here. recording done uh, and then I'll do a separate recording for opening the fifth seal because once I do that Diablo shows up so uh, I'll start getting this ready to post up and then I'll continue against Diablo see you soon do me a favor and hit the like button there's not a whole lot to like about this video I know I died twice it's embarrassing <laughs> oh well shit happens. Uh, click the like button. Click dislike if you want to. That's fine. I kind of dislike what happened today too. Um, hit subscribe if you would. That way when I post new content you'll get notified of it. We'll see you soon. Take care. Have fun. Stay safe. And as always, stay the hell off my front yard. Thanks a lot folks. Bye bye.